Who's next? Dave, who's next? I believe it's back to Jeff. Jeff. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta kind of reiterate something to you guys. Uh, we gotta get T-shirts and say Jeff. You guys remember, I'm also a contractor. Right? I remember. I remember that. Okay, I've been in this business for like 27, 28 years, and I've never seen it this bad to the point where, you know, when you have to drop yours to half of what you paid. Now you were talking about thirty, forty dollars an hour. Well, you know, I don't know if you're a contractor. Okay, I'm just trying to explain something here. You pay the guy to come in with the knowledge, knowing full well that this guy can do the job. Otherwise, if you didn't pay him, if you didn't call him, that means you would have been doing it yourself, right? Okay. Okay. How do you, in your mind, how do you know what's right as far as how much you think the guy should charge? Ten bucks? Fifteen bucks? What? I, I don't know. See, I, I'm not into that whole, I'm not into the union deciding, I'm into the free market deciding. Although I will say this, when you're talking about a skilled laborer, yeah. you know what, if you, in, in, whether it be a carpenter or an electrician, you know what, if I have the choice between someone who, uh, well, that I can pay $10 an hour to, or someone I can pay $40 an hour to when it comes to the electrical work in my house, I'm probably paying the guy the 40 bucks an hour. Yeah, but a lot of people don't because they don't have the money. All right, that's the problem. Yeah, then their house the burns down. <laughs> well, the the point I'm trying to bring up. Okay, I yeah, where are you going line. with this? I'm now at twenty bucks an hour. I went from forty bucks an hour to twenty bucks an hour. I cut it in half yeah. just because of the economy. I can't go any lower because then I'm not I'm not paying for my gas. I'm not paying for the you know your overhead. My truck and all the things that are going. I'm not paying my bills. All right. right. I can't go any lower than that. Okay, the the problem is average price for a guy out there is going to be forty five. You know, anywhere from thirty five to forty five bucks an hour. I'm gouging price gouging the other guys by doing this. Union guys are getting much more. The, the the problem this country seems to have is that they want something for nothing. Again, it goes back to the same thing in politics. They want their pie, their cake, and eat it too, and they can't. It's a it's an impossible task. Okay, so. Is it called, you know, it's, it's like that. Do you say the same thing about sports? We all say that they get paid too much. How do we know? I don't play, I don't play football. You know, I, I don't know what you do, but if I was to go to you and tell you that do you make it too much money, how far does it go? I just, yeah, you know, but though, it, you know, it, I don't it, like to have to back myself up on this, but this time I had to because everybody's saying – the contractors are gouging, and they're not. Do the research on it. No, 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 Jeff, uh, you're right. And, and Jeff, we are going to let you go because we want to move the move the show along. We only have a few minutes left. But uh, uh, as we let you go, I just want to say, you know, it's what the market bears. You know what? When when things are good and money's flowing, I think when a contractor walks in and says forty five dollars an hour, people don't blink. And when things are going bad and and they say forty five, yeah. they say, hey, I only I only want to do twenty, and that's just what the market that, is. That's what I was thinking. Twenty dollars that seems competitive in this. Uh, the this for, yeah, for a I need my bathroom ceiling done. I was just thinking I need somebody to come over and plasterboard my bathroom. Hey, ceiling. Jeff. Uh, Call back and leave your number for Dave so Tim can give you a call off the air. I, I haven't done it because I just haven't found anybody to do it. Um, wanted to talk uh, about uh, and I know oh, this, thanks, Jeff. Yeah, this is one of my favorite topics. Um, uh, a group called uh, Care, I believe it's the Coalition for uh, Islamic American Relations, and they're a group that is there to protect the uh, Islamic uh, people from unfair practices are being discriminated against um, by Americans. And if you go on their website, on their, on their front page, you know, there's a, if you've been discriminated against or you or anything, you can file a complaint and they'll look at it on your behalf. And if you read their stuff, um, it, it really, they, they, they really do want to get along with Americans and they, they make it very plain. All we have to do is change everything about us to be like them and then we can get along with them. Council, Council uh, on American Islamic Relations. Thank you, Council. Okay, um, and my point is that this, this group is out there and they're operating and, and it's probably a good thing because there are some radical people who might want to discriminate against I Islam. Uh, which we don't, we don't condone. But I'm just curious, does anyone in here know of any instances since 9-11 where radical Christians have attacked and murdered Islamic people? Dave, are you familiar with any news articles to that effect? In the United States? Or yeah, in the, no, Uni I, in the United States. 
Uh, no, I. Nikki, are you familiar with any? Tim, are you familiar what, what, with him? Well, didn't you mention Timothy McVeigh? He wasn't a Muslim. Was no, he? no, we'll get to Timothy McVeigh because okay. that, that's that's the thing that everyone always throws out. And I'll, I'll get to Timothy Just McVeigh. Just me think about uh, it. Well, I'll, I'll debunk that myth in a second as well. Um, I was reading the paper today, um, and there was an article in there uh, about how in Egypt there was a Christian man who was seen in public, I believe. And I, I probably don't have all my facts right, so if anyone else has read this article, please chime in. Who... Um, was seen in public um, alone with this um, Muslim young woman. And as a result of that, um, the Muslim community, because 10% Christians in this area in Egypt, um, 10, uh, 10, so far 10 Christians have been slaughtered by is- Muslims there as a result of this action. Now, last time I checked, in the name of Islam, people... Uh, uh, flew planes into the Twin Towers and killed 3,000 Americans. And I'm not saying white Americans. It was uh, it was white, it was black, it was Islamic, Muslim Americans, Hispanic Americans, all these Americans. Well, it wasn't, yeah, but, it, but it was done in the name of Islam. Yeah, well, that's sort of my point. Okay, it's so not in the name of Islam. It's their, they're saying that it's in the it, name of Islam. Islam is not they, a radical, they, they are, radical but they Islamic... Did it, but they did it in the name of Islam. According whether whether them, that's whether it's a true representation of Islam or not, that was their motivation. Now I want to debunk this this nonsense that uh, Joy Behar and uh, Ro- not Rosie, the other one there, Whoopi, uh, like to throw <laughs> out there. They always go, "Well, what about Timothy McVeigh? What about Timothy McVeigh?" Oh, I didn't know that. Well, know let that. me tell you about Timothy McVeigh because after I heard that, I said, "You know, I need to to double check." But I read about Timothy McVeigh. And he was an anti-U.S. government guy. Uh, he was brought up Catholic. He was a veteran, right? Yes. Okay. But he completely disavowed Christianity and said, Christianity had nothing to do with what I'm doing. So when people want to say this, that uh, attribute Timothy McVeigh to it, wait a minute. You have one group that did it in the name of their religion, for their religion, whether it's a, a, a and I can say bastardized version it's of their, their 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 religion, versus a guy who the one thing they point out said this got nothing to do with religion. So you know, throw that argument out the window. Is my point? Well, no, but Paul, here we'll take Mormons. Okay, mm-hmm. Mormons are supposedly by some standards a part of Christianity. They are, and then there's a whole sect of Mormons which, God help us, why they believe you should have multiple wives. I mean, one's enough, isn't it? <laughs> uh, you know, they have. They, and so, what are you going to do? You're going to say all Mormons are bad because these people have ten wives? I mean, yes. It was a very if, small... if they had their ten wives fly fly a plane <laughs> into the twin towers, saying it's in the name of of the Mormon religion. Yes, I've got a problem. No, no, I don't have a problem with all Mormons, but let's just not let's not say uh, that it's it's a very small fraction of the Muslim. It's not even a Muslim. It's well. It's like let me stuff. when it's you like say when you say Italians. it's a small amount. Did you see the the so parties in the street? The the ninety year old Muslim women dancing in the street, celebrating the twin towers getting uh, blown up. I didn't see that. I don't watch that. Well, you were the one that, that was going to go on Al Jazeera television. Too, I was going to go on Al Jazeera because <laughs> I, I want to be a target. <laughs> in thirty years, you the, could run for president. The, the new Simon Ruski. Because <laughs> you know, I'd say no, something. No, I mean, that's they didn't like saying that say. everybody who's Italians in the mafia. Come on, there's your music. You got to go now. They're not. No. <laughs> no, that, that's, All right, that's folks, not. Thank you. Thanks, Todd, yeah. Jeff, Mark. Was it my, my point? Was Mark. the double standard? Mark called in. Paul, the thanks for calling standard. in, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one, everybody. Bye.